as it heals, the land will kind of heal itself like a scab in that you'll slowly, year after year, see the better grasses creep in. Didn't you know it's not appropriate to stalk ladies? Your mom did not teach you any manners whatsoever. Because it's more important that you keep going and resting is not the same as quitting. Like you and I were talking about working smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. To be honest, sometimes you gotta do both. Oh my goodness, my two favorites in one introduction. I look like an egghead out here. Shepherdess at Harmony Farms here, slowly regaining my vigor. Summer schedule, talking about the grazing updates I've made for summer. And some of these are grazing updates I've made for summer, and some of them are grazing updates I've made so that I can keep going physically. I have slowed down the rotation to a one move per week for the duration of September. We're at September 1st right now, and I started this about the middle of August. And it was partially because the rain stopped and the parasite loads go way down when the rain stops, but not only when the rain stops, but also when it hits a consecutive run of 90 degrees, 95 degrees or more. And it's come at a really good time because I need the rest. And this is just more of a personal side note, but when you start to feel like you're at a tipping point, if you can slow down, please do it. Because it's more important that you keep going and resting is not the same as quitting. That's where I'm at, and also the ground is so dry. They've gone from step-in posts to hammer-in posts. So, I'm gonna get the ladies rotated. It's a bit of a summer grazing update for you guys. I look like an egghead out here, but this is my SPF 50 sun jacket, and it is saving my skin, quite literally. So there's this big, long strip that goes up the side of this particular pasture. This pasture is probably one of the most, it was probably in the worst condition of all three pastures that we have when we moved on here. And right now there is a big, long strip of what is three on grass. I learned this when my friend Carl Abel came over to do a pasture walk last year and he said you'll notice on this field and on pastures in general that are healing from mismanagement or overuse he said you'll notice lower quality grasses like this three on and then as it heals the land will kind of heal itself like a scab in that you'll slowly year after year see the better grasses creep in on those lower quality or those even those barren patches and it's been kind of a neat experience to watch this strip down the length of this pasture just kind of minimize there were a couple of things once I realized this was a compromised strip I did a couple of things and number one was I planted a crimson clover and I just went a little extra heavy in this area and then number two is very recent, and I'm gonna have my sister bring the chickshaw down here. And we're just gonna run the chickshaw back and forth along this strip. But it's gonna be neat to watch sort of the process and see what happens.
another really big relief is the pasture I just moved to has almost full water access and um, that is a big deal because hauling it in in August flock water consumption goes way up and it was just it was not really sustainable to have them in the pasture that didn't have the water access I was hauling a lot of five gallon buckets and getting into really good shape but um, I just couldn't keep up and it came had a good time to have them move to this pasture for this particular paddock I'm not gonna move the water I'm just gonna move the fencing back so that they can use the watering point from last week and their minerals are there as well so it's also been two weeks so I am walking this battery back to the shop for a charge and also going to grab the second one that I have that has a full charge. This is the battery that powers my electric fencing system and it has to be recharged about every two weeks. Do you think that that was uh, that spicy chicken sandwich is organically grown chicken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually spoke to Sonic CEO. Sonic CEO. Um, who said all of his beef and chicken is regenerative. Oh, that's not true actually. Sonic beef and chicken is not regenerative, but sometimes guys, when you're going to Tractor Supply for the fourth time this month, you just gotta live a little. <laughs> just gotta get some non-regenerative food to get you through the day. Hey, enjoy it while it lasts, because it may not last long. Ever since I put out this sticker, farmers have more fun. It's been a lot of hard work. But then, so I have to qualify the sticker. Mm. I acronym that fun fun started. what is fun f is for fail u is for unconditional oh that's good and n is for never quit, never quit. farmers have more failures unconditional patience and yet they never quit fun <laughs> Did we just do that? We just did that. <laughs> now you can keep all your inventory. Now I can, you guys go buy, shop the sticker at shopshepherdist.com. Do not quit. Also buy an armband. I'm wearing two don't quit armbands. Because guys, summer is exhausting. But guys, don't quit, all right? Remember why you started this. So another thing that I actually want to invite everybody watching this to is the Small Farmer Virtual Meetup because that is a place where we meet online, live and chat live with small farmers once a month, fourth Thursday of every month, guys. If you wanna come and be encouraged and encourage, then come to the Small Farmer Virtual Meetup. Register at farmermeetup.com using the link below, guys. I hope to see you there. We can encourage each other through whatever we're going through. Will you be there? I will be there. I'm always there. All right, I'll be there too, Lord willing, as your host with a special guest co-host this month. All right, oh, my two favorites are right here. Well, Winnie, I'm not really, I'm not really a horse girl. Don't grill me for that, but this guy, he's totally into me. He stalks me on pasture all day. Hey, buddy. He's the only boy allowed in here. Off season, if you know what I mean. And somebody asked the other day, is he your flock guardian? And to be honest, most of the day he plays chase with the flock. He's not really a guardian. I guess he could be. But he's a pet that made it into the rotation. And hey, Tina, come here. All right, this is Tina. Oh my goodness, my two favorites in one introduction. Okay, so I've got my stalker and my economic liability. Tina is a lamb whose mom stopped giving milk. She was born off season and the summer was really hard on her mom and her mom stopped giving milk. Hey girl, you gonna come over here? And so she hasn't grown much from eight weeks when, when that happened. And she is my absolute favorite. So if anybody is gonna comment in the comment section and say, cull her, I'm gonna say you are no longer welcome on my channel. Because choosing Joy means choosing Tina. And I am not going to cull Joy out of my life. But I actually, I uh, on a serious note, I kind of texted around to some sheep friends. And because I was like, well, I'm, I want to do these guys on 100% grass, but 
if a little bit of supplement would help her get down the line, I'll give her some supplement to beef her up a little bit. And the verdict was she'll probably eventually catch up. Just make sure she doesn't breed in her first year. So Tina will be following her saga, won't we Winnie? And this is Winnie, by the way. Miniature horse. If you want daily Tina spam, follow the shepherdess on Instagram. So I think I'll sign off for the night. I'm gonna walk the flock just a little bit more. Enjoy my life, enjoy my job. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, I appreciate every one of you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't you know it's not appropriate to stalk ladies? Teach you any manners whatsoever. Your mom did not teach you any manners whatsoever. No, go away. You're not allowed to be that close to me.